Look at that beast. Oh, that's what we do here. <laughs> We are going to do a family fishing trip. It's not a fit, really a trip, but we are here at Olathe Lake. This is this is where it all happened for me. This is where I fell in love with catfishing. So uh, I haven't been out in a while, so I'm I'm here. Um, I got, got my PVC pipe, trying to catch some channel for these kids, and I want my little kids to try and. Uh, be able to catch one of their first catfish ever and we're in a spot if you can see it's really shallow out in there it's anywhere from I mean if you can see way way out there I've actually brought brought the boat through there before and it's about anywhere from three to five feet deep so this is what we're fishing with today a couple of just some of just Zebco's Shakespeare Tiger. I didn't bring really any of that. Well, here's some other gear. But just kind of some 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 poles I had lying around. Some stuff I can throw some chicken liver on. That's what we're using chicken liver and some uh, worms today. So wish us some luck. Here comes a little one. All right, Raylan, are you going to help me get some stuff? Okay. Sweet. All right. We got some chicken livers, some cubed ham. Don't act like you guys haven't ever tried everything. Even a chicken nugget. How's the food, guys? Uh, this was a tiny. What? Are we gonna use it as bait? Or are you gonna eat it? Hmm? <laughs> so I pulled this picnic table over here because my pole holders. The ground is way too hard to put them in the ground, so. Hopefully we catch a catfish or some fish. But you're really on camera. What is that big one? Look at all your freckles. Hey, what is that big one? A big one? Yeah, it's a big one. There's so much big birds around here. All right, guys, that was awesome. Just caught about a five pounder. Wasn't that cool? Yeah. Daddy, catch the turtle. Here he is. He's not happy. Not happy. Not happy at all. Really? Pick him, pick him up right in the middle. Pick him up right there and there. Use both hands. Use both hands. So heavy. Okay, now go put them right next to the water or in the water if you want to. Okay, I'll put them in the water. Or put them right here on that little slope and see if he goes. So yeah, this spot at Olathe Lake was so turtle infested that we didn't catch one fish uh, at this location. We did end up moving to a waterfall where we caught a few fish. I don't have that on on uh, video, but. I did talk to Nick and told him what I was doing and, and he was like got excited about going fishing. We hadn't been fishing in so long. So we decided to go to a new spot that I had just showed a friend uh, about a week before that uh, on the Kansas River. So we decided to go. That beast. Oh, that's what we do here, guys. <laughs> so this is what our setup is like looking like today. We got the fire placed over there. Um, uh, these are uh, fishing poles. Um, we've got some here as well, guys. There's a massive, massive log jam. I don't know if you can see my shadow. Like, I don't know. Hello. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a huge log jam. Oh, shoot. It's really muddy out. Well, not muddy, but we're on an island. And we had to cross over, not this log jam, but it wasn't that much easier. But 
that's what we're fishing i'm fishing this one i'm fishing this one pretty dangerously because i just want to get a bite i want to get a big fish if i have to get out there on the logs i will but uh we haven't been fishing in a while so we thought we'd come out here and give it a couple hours we're not putting in four or five hours lately uh we'll get back to it fish on over here he bit hard but i don't think he's very big but a bite is a bite Oh no! <laughs> hey y'all! Whitehead! Is it? No, that's like a channel. Is it? Oh, I hope this isn't that small though. Big old pop. It looks like a flatty. <laughs> no. No? Oh, Look it's, that. A, it's a grunter. See that, the curved anal fin here? Very distinctive. <laughs> it is, look at this little tiny hook. Brought him in. I'm wearing my lucky glove. I put it on today. It's gonna be my lucky glove. It's a fish right there, boy. Ow, oh, oh, oh my. No, dude, I'm not kidding, dude. That thing's. You're about to lose your fish. Wow. All right, well, let's, let's send him back in. <laughs> I said get, beat it, beat it, beat it. What? So humane. Oh. oh, man, he's got some spunk to him. He wasn't done fighting. No, man, he, he took her down. Well, there's a fish tonight. All right. Whew. Caught myself. Cool, cool. <laughs> Now, was that on live or cut? That was live. I haven't put any cut out yet at all. Live bait. I was thinking about putting some cut out, but look at this little tiny hook I, I, was, I was messing around with. And it was a small little, it's an, it is offset, but there was a small bait. It was a small bait in the, huh. that I was using too, so that kind of worked out. Might try it again. I do want to find my bell though. Those things are expensive. Did it fling? Oh, is that it? No. Hi, it's in my back pocket. I <laughs> instincts kicked in. All right, cool, man. Well, we'll go we bait up and we got a what we got in here today. Nick did some gray. Look at that. It's a good one. Ooh, right. Look at his. He's been. Has he been fished with before? There's a little bite of a turtle or something. He's had some. Battle wounds. Resilient. This is an interesting spot, really. I took it down pretty fast, actually. I didn't have time to. <laughs> you actually did. Okay. Right. Where'd you hook that guy? Well, with that piece of back missing. Right behind it. I just kind of did right on the. I would have gone a little further back usually, but he's got kind of a piece of back missing. So, it's all right. actually, I'm kind of glad I was about to freshen this one up anyway. So, we'll get it out there. We got a video, guys. 2022 channel <laughs> catfish had to be at least 14 and a half pounds. <laughs> I mean, 40. I think I'm gonna put some. That was a 500 pound fish right I think there. I'm gonna put some lead egg, egg sinkers in them. <laughs> this isn't a walleye tournament. You can't do that. This isn't a walleye tournament, but I can still do it on my channel. <laughs> you beat yourself. I forgot this one. I only had out about 30 feet. Dagnab Train. I'm gonna name the episode Dagnab Train. Dag Blasted Train. Dag Blasted Train. Barking like a dog. You heard that noise and all of a sudden got excited. 
I was getting bites over there, bites over here. Dude, what's... Nothing coming Well, on. you know why I, I didn't immediately jump on it? Because, like, they were all, like, kind of, like, false squirt, slow bites or something else was going on, you know? But then it just whoosh, tanked it. Ooh, it's... All right, oh, Nick's listening in, but all right, we just uh, got a channel catfish. It's probably about seven to nine pounds, I'd say. Seven or eight pounds. I don't know, Nick. What do you think? Huh? Well, how, how much do you think that channel cat weighed? Probably about one and a half pounds. One and a half pounds. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since like. Seven, eight pounds, that's exactly what I said to the camera a second ago, so. I didn't hear that. He didn't hear that, so. Um, I'm baiting up, I, I, I did catch him on live and I already cast that out, so I'm gonna try some cut bait. This is what we're looking at. Hooked him up here, cut him right down the middle. Kinda made a flapper out of him. And he's bleeding, he's bleeding pretty well, so hopefully we can catch something hopefully it's not turtle alley down here and we get a number two on the board for me anyway <laughs> all right so here's the funny part is we've been out here three times this year um in the past two weeks my lucky glove um, first time we we're out here my friend caught a flathead second time we we're out here nick caught a blue this time i caught a channel it's kind of weird Variety. Yeah. We got there's a variety out here, but it's always seemed to be a one fish night. Okay, we're getting some action on both poles over here. This is my pole. This is your pole. And the lines are not crossed. This. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't plan that. <laughs> who who would plan that? Okay. Uh, this is cut bait. That's live bait. <laughs> Can we re-roll that? Can we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, no. Uh, was, you said it was a good solid. It was. Uh, this one. It was jingling a couple times. This one had a good bell ringer going. The witching hour has begun. It is exactly. And it's because. What is it? 12.07. Oh, yeah. What is it? Is it really? It's exactly 12.07. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we talked about le we're leaving at 12.30, so they're going to keep playing with us like this, making us like drive home thinking, what if we just waited another 10 minutes? Who's we? I lay awake at night thinking that. <laughs> like, what if? What if we stayed for an extra two hours? I could have. We would have got that fish. I could have got an extra bite. My, my rule is, and what everybody hates about me, is that if, if you get a bite or a bell ringer, you stay for another 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't lying on that one. <laughs> and now I got no friends. So. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'd rather not really talk about that, though. <laughs> and there's a guy in his car just sitting on the edge of the river over there. He's been there for he's been, days. He's been parked at, on the river. Partying. He's got a van down by the river. He's got a van on the river. It's like he's just... <laughs> he's just like... He's just trying to make us jealous. Look at him. Well, so far, the action seems to be right here. But... You mean where all our poles are at? No. No! <laughs> not where my pole is like... Not, not this pole. Not where my pole's over there, like in in the log jam. <laughs> it hasn't moved. We've gotten some on this one, but us oh. nothing for a while. <laughs> the witching hour. What does that actually mean, fishing wise? The fishing hour has begun. The fishing witching hour. Mm. Hey, fun fact. Actually, nobody's gonna watch this because I'm probably not gonna put this on there. But uh, yeah, he will. Huge log jam right there. But 
what it, it seems pretty cool this is a cool little spot but there seems to be a huge tree like all the way across there about 20 25 feet out because we've gotten like hooked and snagged a couple times so it's almost like you have to catch a fish to bring it in you see the muscles when i did that You know what would actually make this better? If we caught something. All right guys, we've spent a couple hours out here. We had some fun. Um, we had some fun. We haven't been out in a little while. Appreciate you guys watching our videos. There's gonna be more to come. We're gonna get back more into it. We've had some uh, businesses that we're running. Oh, that we were gonna bite. Uh, the businesses that we're running, different things that have kept us occupied, but we're gonna go ahead and leave here tonight. Got one fish and had a good time, so appreciate you guys.